Okay, hot tub maintenance orientation video with your host, Craiger. Uh, I must see for anyone who's taking care of my house or using my hot tub more than I am. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out a test strip here. And uh, we're going to go out to the tub and take a reading. And then we'll come back and interpret it. Um, it's generally best if the hot tub was recently agitated. So if uh, maybe give it a turn on and then make sure the bubbles are going. So then you come out here and you dip it. And you hold it flat and don't let all the water drip all over the place because it'll change the color on the test strip. And you come back in here and you hold this up next to the side of this thing. So in this case, we're doing okay for hard, which just says total hardness. I don't even know what these mean, but I just follow this and it seems to work okay. And then pH isn't about the right zone. It might be a little bit in the high side, which means it indicates excessive sanitizer or just dirty water in this case. And then the alkalinity is sitting in the right range. And then uh, the top two I generally ignore. Um, it's some sort of uh, how much of the chlorine or bromine is in there. And it doesn't really register on the strip, but it seems to be clean. Okay, and so once we do that, you can also look at the sides of these containers on, as, as to figure out which types of chemical you put in. So this is shock treatment for chlor like it kind of um Brightens up the water, so if it's kind of got a haze to it, you can put that in. And we use this most of the time, like, you know, after every one or two uses, just tump a little tiny bit in, like, maybe one, two seconds. Like, I don't really measure that precisely. Okay, and then on the side of this, you look, it says Alka Plus. Below, it'll say Reserves Alkalinity. Preserve provides alkalinity, okay? And so the one of the things on here at the bottom is Total Hardness, which is alkalinity. And then on the side of this one, the Calcium one. It says hardness for swimming pools. Okay, so, so oh, I'm sorry, I mixed it up. I mixed it up. So anyway, I the um the alkalinity is alk. Okay, so they basically line up with the title on the side here. So alka, use that if you need more of that chemical. Same with calcium. So it says, yeah, total chlorine, all that kind of stuff. They're on the side of the bottles and bromine. Um. I put one of these pucks in about every month and sometimes I put a half in and just let it simmer. You shouldn't put it in if something's going in the tub in the next, you know, hour or so. It should take some time to dissipate and, um, you know, mellow out, I guess, because it's pretty intense. It stinks. And so what we're going to do now is um, I've done this strip and it's uh, told me that I need more alkalinity. So I put about this much of it in the container, the alkaline stuff, and then I'm just going to go dump it in the water. Just anywhere in there, you don't have to do anything special. Okay. Um, you should be careful not to mix the chemicals together because I've noticed when I've done it a couple of times, there's an off gassing and it's really toxic. <laughs> so it doesn't smell very good. Okay, so I've uh, topped up the alkalinity and um, everything else. What do we got here? It could use a little bit more hardness. So, what I'm going to do. Calcium, alkalinity, helps control pH. I'm looking for the hardness one. Put a little bit of calcium in there for that. Anyway, you get the idea. You get the idea of how you kind of work your way through the process. You just look at the color of the strip and then try and find some clue on the label for which chemical to use and you just add a little bit and then go and flip the tub back up and keep her going. And if the water's dirty, well, then you might just have to drain it, which is a whole other video. But if it's super gross, then don't go in it. All right. Thanks for taking care of my tub.